What's up guys, JR Raymond with BowlerX.com here, and I'm actually inside my house because I'm about to show you an at-home trainer, a new product from BowlerX called the Axis Bowling Release Trainer. That's gonna be available at the website BowlerX.com. You'll be able to get yours. There's gonna be multiple packages you'll be able to choose from, but I'm gonna show you today exactly what this thing does and why you need this at your house or your freestanding pro shop. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Here it is, the Axis Bowling Release Trainer by BowlerX.com. Uh, we spent a little bit of time uh, designing this, trying to figure out the, the best way to go about it, and this is what we came up with, and I think it, it works out perfect. It's going to make it easy to assemble for you uh, and easy to ship to you for as little amount of cost as possible. So, uh, And it still gives you the opportunity to bowl on an actual bowling lane. Now, I know this isn't made of an actual bowling lane, but we did take... Uh, and treat this and co coat it and cover it so that way we can put oil on it and it can be treated just like a bowling lane uh, and it will last a long, 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 long time. So uh, you won't have to worry about, you know, refinishing or doing any of that stuff. It's just going to I mean, you're not going to be really bowling on it. We're just throwing shots on the front part here. So uh, the idea behind this is actually just to be able to find our positive access point, access tilt, and be able to actually work on releases and all that good stuff too. So we can do anything we want with this. We can go through our drills, we can do our uh, foul line drills right from here, and we can do all of that here, trying to work on release, trying to work on uh, rev rate, doing everything there. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna figure out how to put oil on the lane. Now, every one of these training tools are gonna come with a bottle of oil uh, that will be labeled bowlerx.com, and you will be able to have enough oil that'll last you a really long time, because it really doesn't take much to oil this. Most people know an actual bowling lane only takes about a thimble full of oil to coat the entire lane. So we need very, very little to coat this one. And now we're not gonna oil the entire thing. All we're gonna do is just oil the right side because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, obviously you're gonna do the left side. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bottle and you're gonna squirt you know, maybe three, four, five times at most, starting in the front. And then you're just gonna take your microfiber towel that you'll get in your package and you're going to move it around and spread it across the lane just to make sure it's in all the parts so we get enough of a good oil ring on the bowling ball when we throw it across the lane. I'll make sure it goes all the way up there and we'll be good to go there. All right, so now we are ready to go. We have oil on the lane. Now we're gonna try and track our oil ring on the bowling ball. All right, here we go, ready? So I always recommend at least putting a foot on here. And the other thing is make sure when you're putting this down, if you're using this in your house, make sure not to put it on a bare hardwood floor, just in case there's something under there, a splinter or something that will dig into it. I don't want your floor to get ruined. So that is a disclaimer. We are not responsible for any markings or anything it does to your floor. So make sure you lay down a blanket or a carpet or something underneath this if you're using it inside. If you're going outside, it doesn't really matter. Do it on the grass or on the cement. It's not gonna matter. You're not gonna hurt anything that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our foot on there and we're gonna throw a normal release just to be able to look for the oil ring. So now we'll take it. And as you can see, you've got the oil rings on there. So you're gonna take your armadillo. It has different rings all the way across the armadillo that you can see. It gets shorter rings all the way to longer rings and then they get a little bit straighter as you get towards the center of it. We want to find the ring on here that closest matches the first ring on your bowling ball. Okay, so we're going to kind of go like this, take a look, find the one that matches and go right about there, guesstimate a little bit. And then all you want to do is you want to set your camera up directly behind you and do like a slow motion video or something. So that way you can tell and make sure that this ring or this, uh, this mark stays fairly solid through the entire front part here until it hits the turnbuckle. All right, so now we'll just check and make sure we have it in the right spot. We'll throw another shot. So now we know we got that in the right spot. Now what we can do is we can actually, we can work on our release. We can do different things. Um, we know our positive axis. We could even take that ring that we just found and we can check what our tilt is. Um, 
you know, based on the charts and all that stuff. Uh, there is a video out. I made a video on that. So you can go take a look at that. You can do that straight from here. Same difference. Uh, but we're going to work on releases. So now you can take and get your knee up next to the board, your foot on the side of the board. And now you can actually slide the ball like this, just like as if you're at a bowling center and you're on your knee working on your release, doing all that thing, trying to figure out how to get your thumb out faster. This is another good option for that. Uh, this gives you so many different practice techniques that you can work on uh, and you don't have to go to the bowling center. It's perfect. So now we're paying attention to this dot. The more that you can see it, the higher rotation you have. The higher the dot is, the higher tilt you have. The lower the dot, obviously the lower the tilt. If it's way over here and you can't see it, you're obviously rolling up the back of it really, really well. So we want to try and do different things. So our normal release, we're going to try and get high tilt and rotate around the side, just kind of like that. And you see it wobbles because your tilt, your axis is going to change a pinch as you change your release. But that's the idea is to be able to pay attention to that and show different releases all the way through the lane. So you get to see the ball spin in the oil the entire time. And you can do different releases, practice getting your thumb out faster. And I can keep doing this over and over again. Changing releases, practicing different things, and the ball will just keep coming right back to me. All right, and there we go. Just like that, we have the ability to practice at home, no matter where we're at. It doesn't take up much space. It's about five feet in length, so you're not going to have to worry about too much space. I'm doing it right here in my living room on a area rug. Uh, and again, if you have hardwood floors or something like that, I would lay a rug down or something uh, when you put it on top of that. So that way you don't ruin your floors or anything like that, because there may be sharp pieces or pieces that will catch the floor uh, that we don't want to do. So um, we are obviously not responsible for any damage that this thing does. So make sure to lay down a carpet or something or a blanket or anything to, to actually protect the floor or anything. If you're using it outside, it obviously doesn't matter. You can lay it on the, on the ground, on the cement, and you'll be good to go. Uh, but now, this is pretty cool. You're going to have the ability to practice at home, check your release, check your tilt, check your um, practice your releases, check your positive access point, you know, have all this information. So when you go into the pro shop next to get your next ball drilled, you'll have all the information you need. And then you can take and you can check the fit uh, constantly each day. You can be working on your thumb, working on your release, working on your rev rate, doing all these things to get better. And we don't have to go to the bowling center every day. So we can literally practice every single day without having to go to the bowling center to practice every single day. Now, I always obviously recommend going to the bowling center and getting some practice in because do, going through the full approach, physical game moves uh, and changes are going to be necessary to get better. But as far as release and everything goes, this is exactly how you're going to want to do it. So make sure to head over to bowlerx.com today and get yours ordered up and we will get these made and shipped out. We're doing pre-orders uh, for the Axis Bowling uh, release trainer. We're doing pre-orders. We're going to sell 25 max right now. Um, whether we do more than that or not, I'm not sure. So you're going to want to get back over to that website right away and get your order in uh, and we'll get these shipped out to you as soon as possible. So appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully uh, everybody likes this thing as much as I do. But until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.